I want to go ahead and introduce you to our first speaker. He has been with AWS for more than eight years. He has also uh, uh, been leading our go-to-market strategy for the AWS Gov Cloud, the secret, and the top secret cloud. He's the leader of our government regions. I would like you to uh, welcome Keith Brooks to the stage to open the opportunity for us. Welcome. Right. Thanks, Nader. Good morning. Oh, come on, we, we have to do better than that. Good morning. As Nader mentioned, my name is Keith Brooks. Um, I lead federal go-to-market for AWS in our public sector business. And specifically what that means is uh, my team and I are responsible for, for two things. Nader mentioned one of them. So. Um, one of the responsibilities is we work with our customers and partners to help them be successful using AWS government infrastructure regions. So what that means is on the one side, you have AWS GovCloud US, which is for our customers that have sensitive but unclassified data and workloads. And on the other side, we have our classified cloud infrastructure regions, our secret and top secret cloud regions. So that's the first responsibility for me and my team. The second is we also manage the ongoing development and delivery of our direct contract vehicles and programs with the federal government. So think about things in terms of programs like JWCC, right? So, so kind of two hats that I wear. And on behalf of me and my team, we do want to welcome you all today to our session on data strategy for AI and the federal government. We do believe that this particular topic is super important and also super relevant given what our federal government customers are facing today. Uh, and, and not just in terms of modernization, right? We believe that robust data strategy, data management, and AIML is actually paramount to modernization and innovation as well, particularly when we think about what our federal government customers are facing, right? Whether it's you know, using ML to drive operational efficiencies, using better data practices to support that as well. Um, if it is focused on delivering better citizen services, right, uh, on behalf of your constituents, uh, and even powering and supporting mission critical workloads, whether that's related to homeland security, um, national security or defense, right? So we, we do appreciate the time that you all gave us this morning uh, and this afternoon to spend the, to, to, to talk through this topic. In terms of data, we at AWS, we, we believe we know a thing or two about data. Uh, in fact, we've been using data to power a number of decisions, both in terms of how we operate our platform and how we innovate and deliver capabilities for our customers to the tune of over 15 years. In fact, Data was, was the core piece of us launching our first generally available service to the public, which was Amazon S3, right? And even to this day, S3 remains not only the first object store that was available across any cloud platform, but it is still the most robust and the most scalable object store in the cloud. Uh, in fact, we have millions of data objects across the customers that use S3 and hundreds of thousands of data lakes that are being powered by S3 today. But we didn't stop with, with just S3, right? We, we really double clicked into data and really thought about not just how we can improve the platform, but what problems are our customers facing? And how can we continue to innovate with data being the, the core piece of the, the innovation puzzle to continue to deliver innovation for our customers to help them solve their data challenges? And that led to innovations such as Amazon DynamoDB, which was the first cloud-native purpose-built cloud database. Even services like Amazon uh, Kinesis and, and MSK, which focus on data streaming. And even data warehouse, right? Um, when you think about those type of services, those were all front and center driven by our, our customers' need to, to innovate. And with the data warehouse piece, um, it led to us launching Amazon Redshift. And we continue to innovate, and that led us over the years to launch services like Amazon SageMaker, which we launched several years ago, which was the first cloud native IDE focused on machine learning. And since then, we've had 
hundreds of thousands of customers using AWS to, provide, to power their machine learning and AI workloads, including organizations across many different shapes, sizes, industries, and maturity levels. Organizations like 3M and GE and Goldman Sachs and Netflix and the NFL, even federal-oriented organizations like FINRA, um, large corporations like Samsung and AstraZeneca and Philips, and we even see the innovation around ML, around ML coming from organizations that you represent as well, right? Federal government agencies, organizations, and industry uh, partners that help our federal government customers be successful, not just with data, but also bringing next generation capabilities today that are starting to look at machine learning as well. And that's fundamentally why we're here today. We want to talk about how we can enable our federal government customers and our industry partners to continue to, to develop robust data strategies to help them drive innovation across machine learning and artificial intelligence. And that's really the crux of what we want to talk about today. You're going to hear from AWS subject matter experts. You're going to hear from our industry partners. We're going to talk about capabilities that our customers can use to develop data strategy, data management discipline, and field cloud native AI ML solutions. You'll hear us talk about data analytics. You'll hear us double click into native AWS capabilities and services to help our federal customers along their journey. You will hear from our industry partners about market solutions that are available that are running on AWS that can also help our customers with data management, data analytics, and AI ML. You will also hear about how we think about the mental models, the patterns, the challenges, and the implications uh, of implementing data management and AI ML at scale. As a matter of fact, my, my colleague Mickey will, will follow up here in a second to really you know, kick the day off with getting into some of those topics. But we also are going to focus on our federal customers that do have sensitive but unclassified data and workloads. Um, and even classified workloads, and talk specifically about how customers that are using AWS government infrastructure regions like AWS GovCloud or classified infrastructure regions at the secret and top secret level, how they can also implement robust data strategies, ro robust data management practices, and implement next generation AI ML capabilities as well for those more regulated and classified workloads. We also encourage everyone in the audience to take time to talk to your colleagues and your peers. Uh, as Nader mentioned, we will have subject matter experts from AWS and our industry partners right outside the doors. But we encourage you to also talk to your peers in the room. Many of you are facing similar challenges. And in fact, many of you have probably solved for some of these challenges. So we definitely encourage you to talk to each other to learn so that we can all collectively help our federal government customers and agencies think about next generation uh, AIML, next generation data management, and drive innovation to support the, the federal government's needs. Nader went through the, the, the agenda, um, but just to reiterate, for the first part of the day, we will focus uh, predominantly on, on data management. So you will hear from a number of speakers that focus specifically on that. Um, we will then break for lunch and then come back and, and my colleague Christian Hoff, who leads our federal civilian business, will then kick off part two at one o'clock that focus specifically on machine learning to include uh, AI and Gen AI. We do hope that you all find the content and the information we're gonna share today of value and, and hopefully of use, uh, and again, Take advantage of being in the room with experts. We know this is a particularly important topic in this space, and we want to make sure that collectively we are helping all of the organizations that are interested in these topics be successful. So with that, I will turn it over to my colleague, Mickey. Thanks again for joining us.